and let the, uh, the chimichurri marry a little bit and the meat sit a little bit, we're going to make the potato salad, okay? So like I said, this is called a uh, Russian potato salad or ensaladilla rusa. Um, traditionally, it was originally called an Oliver salad, uh, but um, it stuck with the name Russian salad and that's what it is, but it's super popular in uh, Spanish speaking countries. So what we have here is one inch diced um, cooked potatoes. Those are two large potatoes. We have one eight ounce can of, uh, I'm sorry, four ounce can of tuna. We have three hard boiled eggs, which are uh, peeled and then I cut them into eight pieces. We have about a, about two ounces of onions, two ounces of cooked diced carrots, two ounces of steamed peas. Then we have uh, a little bit over a half a cup of mayonnaise. We may need to adjust that a little bit of red wine vinegar, a little bit of olive oil, and some salt. And uh, so this is the salad. There's some, you can do some other things to the salad. Some people will add uh, chopped beets. Uh, some people will add olives, capers. You can substitute shrimp instead of tuna. Uh, these are all things that uh, you will see uh, corn. So you'll see this salad with some of those uh, ingredients instead of these ingredients. Or including these ingredients. So we're gonna add the potatoes. So you want the potatoes to be uh, past al dente. You want them to be cooked, but not so firm. You want them almost to crumble a little bit. Fork tender. Fork tender for sure. Maybe even a little bit past fork tender. We're gonna add the diced onion. The steamed carrots, same thing with the carrots. You don't want them al dente. You want them to be a little bit more on the tender side. A little Squeeze bit past. Them. A little bit past. The peas, the same thing. You want to cook them so that they're they're cooked just a little bit beyond, and they're a little bit sweet. Um, traditionally, you'll see this made with uh, actually canned peas and carrots at home. And I personally like the canned peas better; they're sweeter. So, and also because that's the way I grew up with it. Chopped egg. Tuna. That's one can. This is one of the small cans. I think it's four ounces. We're gonna add the oil. We mix it all together. We're gonna just add half of this. So I'd say about a. I don't want it to be too acidic. Maybe about two tablespoons. I'm gonna salt it. I'm gonna mix this all together and then I will add the mayonnaise and I'll adjust it if it needs to be a little bit wetter or not. So we're just gonna mix it all together. I'm probably gonna get my hands in there, mix it with my hands, just so it's nice and incorporated together. How so, much how much prep time do you think it took you? So it's really, really simple. Like I said, if you're making this at home, I mean a lot of the ingredients are ready to go. The tuna's ready to go, just strain it. Uh, peas and carrots out of a can is the way I would go. Uh, super simple at home. Uh, hard boiled egg takes about 12 minutes in the water, right around there. I think it's 14 minutes in our steamer. And the potatoes took about 15 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes. So this whole thing can be pour. done, right? Huh? Whole thing can be done within a half hour. Definitely be done within a half hour. So um, I'm just gonna mix a little bit kind of break it up a little bit with my hands because I kind of want it to be a little bit. I don't want it to be, I kind of want to break it a little bit. So just by looking at this, uh, the half a cup of mayonnaise will probably be just a little bit light. So I'm probably going to add a whole cup of mayonnaise. Again, you just need to adjust. Some people like the potato salad a little bit drier, a little bit wetter. I'm gonna mix it first though. So this is a great, um, we're using it for the, for the barbecue, like I said, to, as a side for our barbecue meat. And um, growing up, when we had picnics, we always had uh, this salad as part of our meals. I just think you're trying to show up my 
potato salad that I did the other day. Oh, you know, I didn't even know you had done it until after the fact. It's okay. Show me up, Dave. So I'm definitely going to add um, another half a cup of mayonnaise to this. It's definitely a little bit on the dry side. So here's the mayonnaise, we're just going to add it back. So that's the potato salad right there. I'm gonna uh, check the salt. And that's pretty much it. That's the potato salad that we're gonna be serving on the side. But this could be an entree too because of the tuna in it, correct? Um, we typically would never, I mean, you know, it's funny that you do see, say that. I have caught myself eating it the next day as a meal, but um, traditionally it's a side. But like I said, they also put shrimp in it. So, um, you know, sure, it could be an, it could be an entree. Okay.